Every day, people all over the globe rely on Google's knowledge of the real world to provide them with reliable, optimized directions to get them wherever they're going, whether they're traveling by car, bike, public transit, or on foot. And every day, developers rely on directions and distance matrix APIs of Google Maps platform to build features that help their users get things done, whether that it's to power their business, navigate to the nearest store location, or explore the world around them. I'm Mark Sandusky, engineer on the Google Maps platform team, and I'm very excited to tell you about the newest improvements we've been building to help you make these experiences even better in your apps, to help your users get around the real world fast and efficiently wherever they roam. Today, we're announcing the preview release of the new Routes API, which represents the next generation, or V2, of both the Directions API and the Distance Matrix API, and introduces new features and performance optimizations. Let's take a look. Like the existing Directions and Distance Matrix APIs, the Routes API is enabled in the Google Cloud Console. And requests to the Routes API are sent as HTTP request to the Google Maps platform. All you have to do is send an HTTP request to routes.googleapis.com and you either use the direction slash v2 compute routes endpoint for directions requests or the distance matrix slash v2 compute route matrix endpoint for distance matrix requests. Requests to the routes API are sent as an HTTP post request with the request parameters provided as a JSON object in the body of the request. The routes API also adds support for gRPC requests which means faster response times and the addition of other performance optimizations like streaming responses for distance matrix requests. If you aren't familiar with gRPC, check out the documentation link below. It's a great option if high performance and reduced latency are critical to your app. All right, let's talk features. For those of you who are already using the existing directions and distance matrix APIs, the Routes API will have many familiar features we've re-implemented to optimize performance. For example, you probably already know that with the existing Directions API, you can get comprehensive, up-to-date directions for biking, driving, and walking, with support for variables like additional waypoints, traffic, departure time, and more. In addition to these, the Routes API introduces a set of new request options to make your directions even more flexible, accurate, and useful, like smarter waypoints, including the ability to specify whether the user will pass through or stop at a waypoint. This is particularly useful if one or more of your waypoints is a pickup or drop-off point, as it allows Google Maps Platform to ensure the user won't be directed to go to a point where stopping isn't allowed, such as a tunnel or a highway. The ability to specify the side of the road you want the user to be directed to, which can help ensure that events like pickups and drop-offs occur on the desired side of a road. You can also request traffic information for individual segments in or out, and use the polyline customization features of the Maps APIs and SDKs to visually represent that traffic when you render a polyline of the route. We're also introducing support for getting directions for two-wheeled motorized vehicles, like motorcycles and scooters, that are able to route through places that cars aren't. In the case of distance matrix requests, the Routes API makes the route calculation and optimization capabilities of Google Maps Platform for multiple origin and destination points even more powerful than ever. We'll return a matrix of as many as 625 total elements. That's more than six times the number of response elements returned by the existing distance matrix API. This makes the addition of support for gRPC requests particularly useful, since you can stream the response, meaning no waiting for larger distance matrix calculations to complete in their entirety before results start returning. You can also request that navigation instructions be returned in Imperial, as well as metric units. And like the improvements to waypoints and directions I mentioned earlier, you can specify the side of road for waypoints and distance matrix requests to improve the accuracy of duration and arrival times. And last but not least, toll calculations. With the Routes API, you can request the cost of tolls along a route for both directions and distance matrix requests, allowing you to show your users an estimate of the cost of a route or take the cost into consideration in the routes you choose to display. You can even specify whether the vehicle is in a special emission type, such as an electric vehicle, and whether the user has a local toll pass that provides a discounted rate to make the toll calculation even more accurate. To get started with the Routes API today, check out the documentation link below, including our migration guide for tips and best practices that will help you start taking advantage of everything the Routes API has to offer quickly and easily. You can also continue to use the existing Directions API and Distance Matrix APIs. And as always, let us know what you think. We can't wait to see what you build with the next generation of directions and distance matrix capabilities for the Google Maps platform using the Routes API. Happy mapping.